Shut up and sit down. We're here in the Shaw Center, uh, former uh, home for you. When you played in the BCHL Ayrton, tell us about the train. Uh, it's good. The fans are awesome here. Uh, I love this town. I think it's a beautiful city. The rink, uh, it's, it's a perfect Junior A rink. You know, they got the screen down when they need it. Good, lively crowd. And, uh, you know, it's a tough building to come and play in, but uh, it's exciting. You know, like I've been saying, 60 minutes, stay off penalty kill, get a couple power plays by moving our feet, control the puck in the ozone, and, you know, we should have success. I've been feeling good. It's sure at the start, I didn't, like, it was tough, like, just getting the season started, like so much like excitement coming into the season and getting injured two games in, it was pretty hard. But uh, I feel like I'm stronger now. I was able to work out a lot and uh, skate a lot, so that's good. Just legs, bike all day, and uh, yeah, that was about it. But uh, I feel fast, I feel strong, so it's good. Ah, oh, he's just getting himself back uh, to being fully uh, ready to play. Uh, you know, it's a tough, tough injury, and and. Uh, he brings it every day on the work ethic, off the ice and on the ice, and uh, he's a true competitor, so we're excited to have him back. When he plays his game, he's very tough to play against. He's a big body, he moves fast and, and defends well, so uh, we're, we're excited to have him back there. And, and like I said, if he keeps it simple and can play his game, uh, he's a force out there. Shut up and sit down. Anthem over, and if you're just joining us here on the broadcast, good evening from the Shaw Center in the Thompson region. Salmon Arm, British Columbia. Nevertheless, it is the 10-2-1 Salmon Arm Silverbacks hosting the now 11-2 West Kelowna Warriors. Our Warriors hoping to continue and extend their winning streak to eight. Delay penalty coming up. Pat Lawn shot. He scores. Pat Lawn, his fourth of the season. And the Warriors have their first lead of the hockey game. It's two to one. Controls the puck, plays it back. Lamont, another shot. Save made by Derek. Rebound loose, they score! Shots on goal 22-16. In favor of the Salmon Arm Silverbacks is Cameron Hicklin. After a, what appeared to be a face-off win for the Silverbacks, feels the puck away and he has it. Sharoon going hard to the net. Riley Sharoon, he scores! Just like that, the West Kelowna Warriors Regain the league and Riley Sharoon. Court remaining in the Silverback power play. 14 12 to go in the third period. The score 3 2 Warriors. Ladyman. What a move by Ladyman. He scores. Maybe an instigator called on the Salmon Arm Silverbacks. And now a turnover. Simon Tassie takes it away. Tassie's in all alone. He scores. And the Warriors unable to hold it back in. And Cernacki will try and take it in. Cernacki's got Tassie. Tassie looking for the hat trick. What a save made by Johnny Derrick. He keeps it a one goal game. Who was Cernacki? Cernacki, right side Tassie. Tassie's going to drive the net. They score. Contested face off, and the Silverbacks will clear. So Tyson Jugnoff will have to hustle back. He's going to turn it over, though, with Simon Tassie. Tassie scores. A big win for the Salmon Arms Silverbacks. And a tough loss for the West Coast Warriors. Their seven game winning streak ends. I just thought we let off the pedal. Um, you know, we were trying to do things that, uh, you know, weren't working by ourselves. You know, we weren't using each other's team. And, uh, you know, they have one of the best players in the league on the other side there. And, uh, you know, we proved it why last night. Uh, just to use our teammates a little more. Um, plays a full five man unit on the ice. Uh, and get in a full 60 minutes, you know, it's something I preach the whole time, you know, you can't let off the gas pedal at all, especially against a team like this. Uh, just Kat's uh, going into this game, uh, he's faced already a lot of different opponents this season. Uh, you know, what do you expect out of him to do? I expect him to do his thing. You know, I know he likes to play the puck a little more, so helps our D-man out when there's rims or, you know, tough dumps that he can go pick them up and give our D-man some good outlet passes should get us moving the puck up the ice quicker. You know, that whole... Uh, defensive mentality that we preached as a group and especially on the decor kind of side of the game uh, I think kind of gone away from that um, just you know that simplistic mentality that we have you know getting pucks uh, you know, behind their D um, and you know just not turn the puck over at the you know the far blue uh, I think we got away from that a lot and I think tonight it'll just have to be you know going back to that mentality and you know just keeping that simple mindset that we always have. Uh, let's just talk about maybe the friendship you have with Brandon Santuana it's a guy you've known for a very long time what's it like playing against him? Yeah, it's good. It's fun. We obviously have some, you know, some friendly banner out there. 
um, you know, before the game, I got to talk to him a bit yesterday, and uh, yeah, so he's one of my best friends, so being able to play against him, uh, you know, five times a year this year, it'll be super cool for us, and um, obviously you've got two pretty competitive teams this year, um, you know, um, one of the top two in the league, uh, so just being able to you know, share that competitive game with him, and um, you know, having that, uh, hopefully, um, bragging rights going into the summer will be nice, uh, so yeah, it's been a lot of fun. And if you're just joining us on the broadcast, good evening from the Thompson region, Salmon Arm, BC, the Shaw Center. My name is Chase Johnston, voice of the West Kelowna Warriors. You're listening and you're watching to Murray's Pizza, West Kelowna Warriors Hockey on Hockey TV and Mixler. It is the 11-2-1 Salmon Arm Silverbacks hosting the 11-3 West Kelowna Warriors. See, same mid, rebound loose, and just getting a piece of it there was Justin Katz, and immediately Nick Ardenes and Pat Lawn at the head of their rookie goaltender, the 17-year-old Justin Katz. Hero, Van Dukachero to Ardenas. Warriors now get set up. Tyler Rubin looking for the pass down low. It's tipped on, save made by Say. Puck behind the net for Van Hukachero. Bail clear by the Silverbacks as Trudeau finds Ardenas. Ardenas a shot, they score! It's Alexi Van Hukachero. Keep that monkey off my back, let me stop it on the ground. The Warriors have a one nothing lead on the power play. But drops it back. Hartman a shot save made. Rebound loose. It's right near the slot. Another shot by Serdakny misses. Another huge save this time made by Justin Katz. Here's zone behind the net is Serdakny. Up top for Mata. Mata fanned on his passing attempt. Puck steered away. John Evans has an open net chance. And it is a breakaway. John Evans in. He scores. The Warriors with the dagger in this one. 19 seconds remaining. They take a 2-0 lead. Jaden Price there to wrap it around, but that's going to do it. The Warriors, for the first time since February 15th, 2017, have won a regular season game inside the Shaw Center. That's a big one. And more importantly, I can say it now, first career BCHL shutout for Justin Katz, who should be an automatic choice for first star in this game. I just had to stay focused after yesterday. Found out I was in the net today and uh, just had to learn from the mistakes we made yesterday and get a big win today. I think just staying focused for three periods, uh, just being steady back there, helping the guys out, uh, that's what I have to do. Yeah, I mean, obviously I was excited. I was excited for Cooch. Get one there, he needed it, and, uh, and the team needed it, but had to get right back to it, do what we were doing. The guys were excited for me. Uh, I, like, I'm a young guy in this league, so it was good to get a shout out. The guys were supportive. They, they were loving it, so it was awesome. Uh, felt great. Been a little frustrated past few games. You know, uh, yesterday was a tough loss for us. Thought we played well, but a couple periods uh, hurt us. But to come back today and get a win is huge for the boys. We're really happy. Yeah, Katsy's a great guy. Uh, incredible goalie. You know, he goes out there, works hard, works hard every day in practice, and just gets it done out there. So we love him. Well, I thought uh, we, we kind of, we did what we talked about all week. Uh, we played a very simple game. We took advantage of, of the opportunities they gave us, the space they gave us, and, and I thought we played really sound defensively. I mean, he's, he's come in, he's uh, been steady. He, he carries himself with the presence of an older kid, and, and he's just been awesome all year, so really happy for him.